So this is my December, November, like last week of November, and January haul. So first up, I will go over what I bought on clearance at um, Walmart. <coughs> okay, first thing I got, this is Salt on Geonosis Battle Pack. Comes with Obi-Wan, Arf Trooper, and Geonosian. And, um, that one I already opened, but I will do a review on. Next up, we have the Clone Wars Ultimate Gift Set. I got it for $14. Normally, it is, um, was, it was $30 normally. And it comes with the Battle Droid, Anakin, Count Dooku, um, just regular Battle Droid, and, um, Captain Rex. Oh, this one I got for, I think it was $9, so that was, it was like three forty a figure. Next up, <clears throat> got Kato Parasiti. Sorry, I haven't seen the new seasons yet. I'm waiting to watch them all on DVD. Since I have work, I miss most TV seasons on TV, so I'm a little behind. But, um, got him. Next up, I got L.S. If I remember correctly, he's another bounty hunter. Okay, next up, I got the Space Trooper for $3.40. I waited on him. I was going to get him at my work. I work at Target. But I held off, and I decided to get, and it was worth it, because now I got him for half price. And the reason I didn't keep him carded was, I don't know if you can see that, but right Right there where my middle finger is, somebody wrote seven ninety nine on, so there was no point in keeping them carded. Otherwise I was going to. Next up I got an right just a plain ARF trooper for three dollars and forty cents also. Like three of them were three dollars and I think it was the Clone Wars was three dollars and forty cents and the Saga Engines was uh three ninety. Got the um Death Star Trooper. He's pretty cool. I was wanting him. This one is cool. I've never had Luke Skywalker in um, his pilot gear. But I got him for three ninety as well. So let me see. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, plus five. That equals eleven. So I got eleven figures for, I believe it was forty dollars. Which is a very good price. Okay, next up. Got this on Amazon. And sorry it's in a bag, but I am going to review them. I already threw out the packaging. It was, oh, I forget the name. It was $12, so it was half price. But um, it's the first season when they go to the um, the Snow World. I can't remember the name right now, but it's with the, um, the captain who uh, says that the moon is their planet because there's no one living there, but these creatures are actually living there. I can't. It's like Auto Mundi, I think it's a Salt on Auto Mundi, I think that's the proper name. But um, I got that pack with four figures, and I had none of those figures. So that worked out well. And then the other one I got on sale was the Search for Luke Skywalker pack. I got for $15 on clearance at, my, um, at Target, which is a very good deal. So it came with all three of those figures, 15 bucks. Next discount I got was I went to my local Marshalls and I found this Mandalorian speeder bike with Mandalorian for nine dollars, which was a good price. He was the only Star Wars action figure vehicle left there. Everything else was just their Transformers lines, which I don't really like the um, Transformers uh, Star Wars editions, but you might. Next up, I go. Let's see. I guess I'll go. I picked this up. 35 bucks on sale. Week um, of New Year's. Like it was the January 1st. It was on sale for um, $39 with discount. Got it for 35 and it's an awesome game. I was going to buy Arkham, or, uh, Arkham Asylum first before I played Arkham City. But I couldn't wait. And this is the 3D compatible. And... I'm hoping this doesn't turn out like Assassin's Creed where I loved the second one and then I played the first one and I didn't like it because the second one was so much better. But from what I've heard, I should like the first one just as much. 
Next thing, this one is opened as well, but I got the Jabba's Palace for 17 I think it was 17 or 19 dollars on Amazon which is a very good deal okay next up I bought this for regular price it was the uh, I believe it's called the flame trooper flamethrower clone trooper and um, got him for just regular price I the reason I picked him up was I got him and a couple of the vintage collection figures for regular price to get the limited edition um, Boba Fett, which I am going to send in for, and that is why that one over there is opened. I've been going back and forth about opening these or not, because I love the look of them and their packaging, but I think what I'm going to do is keep a select few in their packaging. So I'm thinking I'm going to keep the Darth Vader, the Boba and Jango Fett, and the Senate Guard in their packaging and open the other ones, but I'm not sure yet. We'll see. And, um, so I guess... Next, I'll show you. I picked this one up on Amazon for 13 bucks. It's the uh, concept R2-D2 and C-3PO McQuarrie concept. This is to go with the rest of my collection. I am missing, I think it's three of them. I'm missing, like, the Han Solo, the Luke Skywalker, and the McQuarrie Boba Fett. And I think I have everybody else. But I have to look. Um, next up was, I got this for $2.90. And it's already open, but as you can tell, it's a comic pack. And it was a comic pack with Leia Organa and Prince Zizor, I believe it's his name is pronounced. But I got him for two ninety, which is a great deal. Next up, I found the Pre's um the uh oh I can't say his name now. It's Visla. But um got him for regular price, pre Visla. But uh, he's just a cool figure, and he goes perfect with my speeder bike figure as well. And then I found young Boba Fett, and I didn't keep him in his box either, just because the box was pretty damaged, so I figured I might as well open him. Next up, I'll go through the vintage collections I picked up. Some of these I paid full price for, and most of them I did not. I believe the ones I paid full price for were Dengar, Darth Vader, Boba Fett, and Jango Fett. And then Wicked over there. Everything else I got discounted on Amazon for like $5. But to start, I got Twin Cloud Pilot. Uh, I'll probably open him if I can pick up the vehicle still. I don't know if I can find it anywhere. I got the Phase 1 Clone Trooper from Attack of the Clones. And the reason I don't want to open these, I wish I could collect them all. But they just look so well in their packaging, like you just don't want to open them. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. Then I got Dengar. He was actually the first one I picked up. And I got Darth Vader, Empire Strikes Back edition. I think it just looks amazing in the package. Next up we've got the Senate Guard. Awesome picture and awesome figure. I've never had one of these, but I've always liked the coloring. I just, I really like these and the um, Imperial Guard, the red ones. I don't know. I've just, they're really elegant looking. One second. I got Boba Fett, Return of the Jedi, Rebel Commando, Return of the Jedi. The only revenge I have is Wicked, I believe, was Revenge of the Jedi. Django Fett. And he, I also got at Walmart. Um, out of these, one, two, three, four out of the five, or out of the six, were unpunched. And out of these two, one of the two were unpunched. Okay, up here, these are the ones I'm opening because they're in damaged packages. But I opened Wicket solely bef uh, for his um, mail-in sheet. But uh, he was also punched. Anyway, so, oh well. But, um, that's Wicked. And then, the last one I have over here is Woof. Woof or Woof. I don't know how you say it, but that's who that is. And his package came pretty damaged. I don't know if you can tell on camera. But right there, you can kind of see in the glare, there's a line going across it. And, yeah, you can see right there, it's pretty damaged. So, might as well open it. But I believe that is everything. 
Oh, actually, no. Two more things. So, I will be making separate videos solely on these, but I can only find one of them for now. It is the 30th Anniversary Edition Star Wars Tops Trading Cards. I got the whole 100, I believe it's 120 set, and um, got this with some of my Christmas money. And it's very cool. I can go through and I'll make a video just on this. And the other one that I cannot seem to find at the moment was I got, let's see, I believe it was Series 4 of the Galaxy Trading Cards. And I got all but one. So I have to go find that one out of the 120. I just bought a box set. I guess I can show you that. One sec. So I bought the actual display box this package. And it came like this. This popped up. Had a um, poster to display in your window if you're selling them. And then it came with these packs of cards. And I opened them. I was going to make a video on opening all these packs, but I thought you guys might find them boring. So, yeah. I got a sketch card. 119 of the 120. And I got a bunch of the other rare cards. So, and it's pretty cool. And if you guys don't know about those, tune into my video when I do find them. And I'll show you what they are. The sketch cards are pretty cool because they pay artists to make a hundred cards. Each one is different and they sketch them by hand and then they uh, write them. Like mine was uh, done with pencil. So it was pretty cool. But I will show you guys that in another video. But um, I hope you liked this haul. As you saw, it was a pretty big one. That is because it was over a month. So I hope you liked this video, and I will make separate videos on all these. It will take a good three weeks probably, but that'll be pretty fun. Hope you guys liked it. Please like and subscribe, and hope you are set for some more videos. Have a good one.